Well, 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 we're all here. We're back. And uh, you know what? I, I can't even contain it. Cue the music. Okay, perfect. Look at it right here. This is a brand new Minecraft dog. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, definitely. But th there's a little bit more to this dog. If this dog could move its ginormous head, then we would notice that the collar, it's not just a normal collar. This is a purple collar. Elites, it's a good day. It's a great day. Pam, you've made it back to this world through way of another dog. This is amazing, amazing, amazing. But I think it would be a little dangerous to bring Pam outside of the house when Pam is still so young. Pam needs to grow into her full form before she can do anything. But Pam, Pam is back. And we're back with another episode of the Minecraft Guide. So, last episode, we built one of my favorite buildings ever. The view of it isn't that good from over here, but if we get up close to it, oh, it is looking good. Now, I need to start off with uh, something that I forgot at the end of the last episode. I wanted to put target blocks all around this building because, of course, a Fletcher villager lives inside of the thing. Target blocks, arrows, yeah. So, I added one over there, two over there. It's a really small thing. Somehow, I entirely forgot about it. At the end of the last episode so the villager inside of the house right there turns string into pure profit loads of it too quickly the area around the building looks really really good too we spent some time terraforming it but this area right over here it doesn't look very good i think it's finally time to do some cleanup work and actually get a better entrance on our storage cathedral i mean Think about it. This build right here. Yeah, actually, hold on. You don't even need to think about it. It's a disgrace. Honestly, it's a disgrace. So check this out. If we go up into the air, zero, zero damage, damage as always. always. It's a gigantic, massive building. Very impressive. And the entrance to the building is a single Minecraft door. That is definitely not good the, the building deserves so much more is what i'm saying so today we're gonna fix up the entrance we're gonna fix up the inside just a tiny bit and then the outside the outside is going to look better than it ever has but we start today's episode with a little bit of deforestation forest forest beautiful forest i love you i love all the vines that come from you but i don't love you anymore me and you are good friends. We, you've treated me nicely. We've had great memories. I've looked at your beautiful bark. I've stood on top of your wonderful tree branches. But today is the day. Everything good it has to come to an end for even better things that are even gooder. And today, your end is here. Okay, so the trees, they're going away. Things are progressing quite perfectly. But now it's time for terraforming. If we're going to put a better entrance on this build, we're going to need a little bit more room. I'm thinking for what I'm going to want to do, I'm going to need to go like 10 or so blocks off of this thing. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten or so. Hey, okay, so this is what I'm thinking. The, the land will get raised up and, and brought out this way. And then we'll basically make like a clip wall in here. I think that'll probably look good. And then this building will kind of be like a dead end. We'll, we'll somehow try and make it blend in and look good. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work, but it should be achievable. We'll be back once it has been achievable. For now, music. Ah, yes, that is much, much better. Hopefully, we'll be able to fit what we're trying to build today in this area right here. In terms of the hill, the terraforming, I didn't go too crazy. Right now, I just put some coarse dirt there. I will definitely come back in and get some plants on that hill. I think we can make it look nicer. And then also, maybe like a stream coming down here and then like a small pond in here with a little bit of stone. That would look really, really good too. But I figured first, we might as well talk about what we're going to do over here. So the single door entrance, it can go away officially done with it on the other side of the build though we are I, I think at least for now actually going to keep the single door entrance so that side is more of the back side I use it sometimes but I definitely use this side more this is the main entrance Rosie Rosie you have to move out of the way there we go so the entrance is cleared up now we could probably fit a piston door in here we could work it in and make it work but I don't think that would be as cool instead I think what I'd like to do is set up a piston door out here on this side and then actually a piston door on the other side. So if we have to get back here for anything, which I do plan on putting things back here probably soonish, then we can just cut right through the building. No need to go around the building. I think that could be cool. To help do what I want to do, I think we need to start over here on this wall. This thing that we're going to build is going to take up a little bit of space. So to give ourselves a little bit more space and not make it too cramped inside of the build, I think we're going to want to just flatten this area 
out so we can actually end up maybe even covering up some of it. I am a little sad about it, but it's okay because we have one right here and then we're going to have one on the back side too. We will basically duplicate, replicate everything that we're doing today on the front and on the back. Today's door, pressure plate door for sure. I like pressure plate piston doors the best because, well, they're really easy to use. All you need to do is walk up to them and they open for you. Materials, what do you need to build this type of door? Well, uh, keep in mind, we're going to build two of these doors today. So I've pretty much doubled all of the materials. For one of these doors, six sticky pistons, kind of expensive. Remember, if you're looking for slime balls, go to the swamp. That's what we did earlier to get slime balls in this world. After you get the sticky pistons though, you're pretty much good to go. Couple redstone torches, a little bit of redstone dust, some pressure blades to actually operate the door you actually will need four in total technically if you wanted to you could just do one and one on either side but four is a little bit cleaner and then actually a little bit more extra redstone dust as well in minecraft you can pretty much build anything however you'd like which means redstone doors come in all sorts of shapes and sizes one of my favorite redstone doors of all time is a three by three spiral redstone door we'll build one of those later on but today i figured a two by three door would actually fit a little bit better on this build so that is basically the lead in for the build and now we need to set up a little bit of a frame so we can figure out where our door goes we're going to start by skipping this block right here now we're gonna need walls we will worry about the beautiful block variants later on i'm thinking maybe walls right here like going up like that and, and then after the walls stone bricks we'll come in with stone bricks towered up i don't know really how high but maybe maybe we'll go three for now we'll keep everything at a height of three then i i think what we're gonna want to do is leave a gap right here for the piston arm have the actual door itself be sitting right here and right here which means another gap over here keeping everything symmetrical uh, another pillar right over here three high and then finally walls on this side to finish everything off then we'll have the corner everything will turn we'll have a big long front side maybe big window or something and then the same thing on the back side all right so now it's time to wire our redstone we're going to start by placing a block that will have redstone on it over here and then a block that'll have redstone on it right over there too on top of both of these blocks redstone dust redstone dust then right below this block we're going to actually swap that out for another block we're going to put all of our redstone on iron block so it looks nice and then another one right over here redstone torch on both of those blocks the redstone dust should light up leave it alone like this don't turn it into the dot now it's time for our pistons we're going to place a sticky piston right here one right here and then finally one right on top of it if you've already placed everything down correctly all three sticky pistons on both sides so six total should be extended now all we need to do is set up the switch for this thing i'd like the switch to be right here so basically when i hit these pressure plates the door opens for me how do we do that well uh actually that is insanely insanely simple so we'll go ahead and dig down below this thing if we want our pressure plates located up here on the surface to work we're gonna need redstone right below it so redstone dust right there below each pressure plate technically you could get away with one pressure plate but symmetry here so we're gonna continue with redstone this way we're gonna dig this out and this one for now and this block and then actually this block as well we'll swap some of those blocks out for better looking blocks and do the same exact thing on the other side better looking block block right here now redstone dust redstone dust redstone dust redstone dust and then all we need to do is get out of this hole and put something on the door now temporarily we'll put iron blocks iron blocks are fine for now we're definitely not going to keep iron blocks in this world though it doesn't fit the vibe of this building so check this out though we hit this and it opens and that's it that's all there is to it if we have blocks right here watch this we can walk up to this thing walk right through it and the door closes behind us that is perfect but let's say we wanted to get out from the inside because of course yeah that, that would probably be a good idea well that's pretty simple all we need to do is set up the same exact thing on the other side of the door so on the other side a little bit more redstone set up just like that and then uh check this out we walk through mm-hmm uh-huh you see that that's amazing and that's definitely a better entrance for the storage building for sure now if you've been playing minecraft for even a second and you're into redstone let's be honest you already knew how to build that door this is an insanely beginner redstone door but it is perfect for the building check this out we can make the vibe of this door a little bit better by probably swapping those blocks out for spruce i think spruce would probably fit a little bit better match the whole uh, theme of the building and then uh we could maybe even strip the logs so we get the doors looking a little bit cool they connect better right there uh-huh for sure i think that's how we want to do the door but right here these arms uh they, they're ugly they, they're not good looking so i think we could actually maybe cover up the arms of the pistons 
with dark oak trap doors. The dark oak will match the fences up there. So dark oak trap door, dark oak, and then dark oak right there. And then we go ahead and open all those. And then same thing over here. And because of the location of these trap doors, they won't actually be affected by the redstone. They'll still open. No, the dirt, it's in the way. We'll go ahead and move that. The inside switch. So this switch right here is probably going to move maybe. Then again, maybe not. Maybe we have a switch over here. And then we have a switch like right over here too for the other door. Hmm. You know, maybe it's time for me to get the other door in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Two separate triggers. So we have a trigger over here that walks through, and then one right over here that lets us walk through two. Now, uh, let's talk about this spot right here from the inside of this area that we can see. Because of how the redstone is, we can't actually put a solid block right there. But what we could do, what we could get away with, and what would actually work pretty well here, slabs. Uh, slabs will actually work. Slabs, they're not a solid block. So actually, believe it or not, they don't cut off the redstone. Check that out. The redstone still connects in there. You can kind of see it. But right there, that definitely works. Now, we're going to do the slabs in there, but we're going to also put trap doors there anyway. So it kind of doesn't really matter, but it's fine. We're gonna do it anyways. We're gonna do slabs in here too. I think that'll look nice right down there below the door. So far, so good. Now you have to be careful when you're doing a door like this because uh, by doing the door like this, technically, yes, a creeper would be able to walk up and open the door. Same with a zombie or, or a skeleton, anything like that. So yeah, we're gonna need to make sure spawns in this general area are basically cut out. Removing hostile mob spawns all around the jungle though, that's always been the plan. So not that big of a deal. Just something to know for sure. You're gonna wanna be careful. So, now, uh, both sides are looking good. We're set up. Let's talk about the front wall. The front wall, what do I want to do? Well, uh, definitely a big window here. This is going to be, uh, well, maybe not the best view, but it's a view, okay? So, I think a window right here. The window is going to be one, two, three, four. Oh, that's going to be a big window. Like, not, not as big as that window, but a good, solid window. I like that. Okay, so the window, that's good and all. It makes sense. Let's go back over to this side right here. So... Maybe what we want to do is, let's say, a staircase right here, and, and then another staircase, and then maybe it's slab time. I, I don't have enough slabs, though, but we'll, we'll replicate it over here. Staircase, staircase, like that. The trap doors, though, they're not really going to, to, to match this entirely, but I think it'll be okay, because the tones are similar. What if we went with dark oak in the middle in there? Would this look good? Would it work, or does it need to be a little bit taller? Hmm... I think that might be good. I, I don't think we want the section to get too tall. That's probably good. Let's try it out, though. L let's just go ahead and remove those staircases just to see. It needs to be perfect. This is like the crown jewel of this world. It has to be exactly right. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and move the staircases up. What do we think now? <laughs> um, oh, that's a tough call. I, you know what? I actually think the staircases should be higher up. Then maybe we could finish uh, around the door on the outside. Maybe with trapdoors, that might be a little bit excessive. So maybe not. Maybe we'll try it. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Maybe trapdoors just like that, and then dark oak everywhere else. I feel like that might be the answer. Okay, so slab, 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 slab. Right there, just like that. That's our arch. I, I think that's a pretty good arch. It's not the best one, but it's good. And the door, it's pretty grand looking. I like that. I think that's good. One thing that we could do, though, is actually come back in here with a different color. If we wanted to add a touch of color in here, or even this the stone the stone actually might look a little bit better it might actually make it match the build a little bit more yep uh yep 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 in the last episode we used light gray stained glass we're going to continue that trend and use light gray stained glass in this episode too where well i, I think right over here so the redstone it's really cool kind of I, I mean it's redstone it's not that complex but i think a, like a little window might actually be kind of cool so we're gonna put a window so we can actually kind of see the redstone a tiny bit to finish off this corner easy 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 slab right there slab right there and then finally a solid block right in here in the middle hmm is this the move is this the move is this the move there's only one way to know if this is the move maybe dark oak is next to to kind of like outline this thing like basically we create another arch in here with dark oak this time is that the way it would just be a thin line of dark oak you can't see it so maybe we'll go with it for now 
Oh, I did it twice. I just did that once and then and then I did it again. Yep, that's over for this building. It's over. When the parkour moves come out, the parkour moves come out full force. Now, uh, this is where the build's at. We're gonna put a window right there still. We'll add detail to it. We need to get the arch game strong in here. So maybe arch in here, glass panes probably in this layer, and then maybe even a third line of stone bricks in here. That might be the way to go because we're gonna double up over here, at least doubled up. So yeah, probably more stone bricks in here. This is the hardest part though, adding on to a pre-existing build and making it match the build style, especially a build that I built like like a month ago. I, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I try and come back to a build and, and add on to it, when it's existed for a while, I like struggle like, like a lot because I, I don't know, like the more time that has passed, it, the harder it all just seems to be to make it match up like perfectly and look like it was always meant to be there. You know, I don't know. Uh, that's a solid start though. With that being said though, from this point on, I think everything should be a little bit more straightforward. So we're gonna have a pillar right there. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. We can make it five right there. That's a section of five. Now, if we were to go over to the other side, over here, this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we're gonna have a section of five. Okay, so perfect. We have a five by five tower. All that I need to do at this point in the build is figure out how tall the tower goes. I'm thinking probably a little bit taller. Make it look good. Put arches over the glass on, on this front side. And then we should hopefully be in a pretty good spot. On the other walls, maybe like black concrete powder or some sort of accent block on the inside. Probably. And also, maybe the window doesn't go all the way up into the tower. But from the looks of things, I am going to have at least a little bit of work to do, some figuring out to do. So let's see, I really don't know if this is gonna be it, but maybe we go up like a section of three. That's what I did here. Then we could set up an arch going across the top of this thing. Probably pretty similar to the uh, to the other arch that we've done in this build. So we go up like that, probably step up a little bit more. That would probably be, yeah, that's a good looking arch. We could maybe even have like a window in here. Uh, if not a window though, like an accent block and then something in the middle to break it up. Maybe like walls of some sort or like fences. But we could do that once and then maybe, maybe we could go in a little bit more. Like a second section and go up higher. And then just a flat top on this thing? That's what I'm kind of thinking, like the Notre Dame? Hmm. Let's try that out. Oh my gosh, how did I not see this before? This has been so obvious all along, what this whole tower was destined to be, what it was meant to be. How did I not see this before? It all adds up. It has all been leading to this moment. What if, maybe, hopefully, I could successfully build a gigantic bell inside of this tower, like, this, like hanging in here somewhere hanging down a little bit like in front of this area then we don't need to even really cover it it could be open and you would see the gigantic bell hanging in here imagine that so I, i'm gonna need to figure this out it, it's gonna be tricky uh will i be able to do it i'm not 100 sure i i hope i will be able to but this is what i'm thinking so we have gold right there then this will be the tip of the bell and and then i'll figure out a top on this somehow don't know how then the bell whoa okay yep gotta be careful the bell is gonna hang down a little bit more i'm too excited about this idea this better work the bell is gonna hang down a little bit more so maybe like i don't know a section of three would, would that be good maybe it'll be good this won't be a functioning bell to be clear uh section of three hanging down i'm probably gonna need to go to the nether and get a little bit more gold but remember we have the gold farm so it doesn't matter section of three hangs down then the, the moment of truth would this look like a bell if I were to go out a little bit more all the way around the edge? Maybe the section of three hangs down one more though, so you can see it a little bit more, or the whole bell moves down. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna actually work. Section of three, three over there. Oh my gosh, it works. That's it. That's the answer. That's the answer that I was looking for. But the bell's placement, that's the only question and the size. So off to the nether for me to get gold from the gold farm but let's check this out a theoretical bell is sitting right where wherever i put it with, with this big tower next to it how does it look uh-huh uh-huh i think the placement might actually be pretty much perfect maybe we move it down like 
one more, just a tiny bit, but it is pretty obvious that that's a bell, right? Okay, uh, not with the sheep, not now, not now. Is it a bell? Yeah, that's obvious. That's definitely a bell. That's clearly a bell. And then the height of the tower, I feel like that's actually pretty good. So now I just need to figure out the top. I'm trying really hard to make sure this matches everything here. Uh-huh. That's a bell. There's an enderman by my build. That's fine. You're standing in my door, keeping it open. Thank you. Okay, welcome in. Welcome in. That's cool. That's a bell. <laughs> that's an absolutely, def definitely, that's a bell. Is it weird that I actually haven't really taken a taken a step back and, and taken a look at the build? Uh, probably. I, I mean, I took some while I was working on the build, of course, of course, but for the most part, I haven't. So, I'm finishing up the build uh, right now, actually. I was trying to, this time, create something interesting in here. Instead of just, you know, like a, a generic, uh, like, black stained glass window, I thought it would be cool to maybe try and create just like a peaceful scene so what i'm going for here is like sky in here then i'm gonna do ground uh, on the ground and then maybe like maybe like green over here and then a little bit of a hill there but let's go ahead and take a look at the build so here is what i have come up with in my opinion i think this matches the rest of the build pretty much perfectly and actually, based off of that first shot right there, I'm pretty happy with it. Look at it. It blends in for sure. And I feel like the shape is like pretty much perfect here. I went with a flat roof. We actually can't get in that top section. We have the giant bell hanging in there still. And then, yeah, the bottom area with the door. And then overall, like, again, when compared to the rest of the build, I feel like it matches. I feel like that, like, looks pretty good, like it was always meant to be there. Yeah. Maybe the top part could get like a little bit thicker, but overall, I would say that's pretty good. Yeah, this was really, really hard though. Initially, I actually built like a steeple on top of the thing and it looked cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. I, I used that, that word very, very loosely. It actually looked like really bad. It was like basically borderline terrible. It, it was not good. So I didn't even show this evil. I decided to just tear it down instantly. Not good. A good way to put it would be like scary. It was pretty concerning looking that, that I actually built that and was about to show it in a video. So yeah, tore it completely down. Wasn't good. Let's go ahead and put the hill in here though. Maybe the hill is... I don't know, like that big? That's probably good. And then, of course, we're going to be one short. We'll get a little bit more. Maybe, you know what we could actually do? Maybe some dark spots in the sky, too. And by dark spots, I mean, like, normal blue stained glass. It is a stained glass window, after all. We're meant to have, like, a bunch of color on this thing. So maybe, maybe like, a couple random dark spots might actually look pretty cool. All right, let's check it out. What do we think? Yeah, I feel like that was pretty cool. Maybe the hill should be like a little bit smaller though. I feel like that is kind of weird looking. Maybe like something like that. I feel like that was pretty good for now. It's pretty obvious what it is. If I were standing here, I mean, you can tell that the yellow circle is the sun and then there's some sort of scene going on here. Yeah, I feel like that's probably good. Now the top area. I'm thinking that the top area actually stays open. I think that'll look good. But down here, the floor, what do we do here? Well... I was thinking that maybe the floor doesn't continue. So don't get me wrong, I like the checkered floor in like most of the build. I, I feel like it looks pretty good, but I don't think this checkered floor should actually continue into this, uh, this opening area. Instead, I'd like to try and create a different pattern. Uh, this pattern, I feel like it should maybe be created with spruce logs. So check this out, we'll start by creating another checkered pattern. I think the pattern itself is fine, it's the blocks that would be the problem. Here we have that right there. Now this pattern is cool looking, but it's really, really busy and it matches the wall like way too much, like the door. It needs to look different. So instead of this pattern, I'm thinking that we could actually come in here and strip all of these logs. And then I think this would look really, really good. But to make it look even better, easy, easy. We come back in here with a carpet in the middle, in the center with lighting underneath it. Maybe, maybe it's a purple carpet. Now there is a little problem here. I, I would love to do a circle carpet in here, but a circle carpet isn't really gonna fit because of these pressure plates. So instead of a circle, this is what we'll do. We'll do a rectangle carpet in here. It'll be a little bit closer to the window, but I think that'll be fine. Jack-o-lantern's in, the light is really good in here now, and then the purple carpet. I feel like the purple carpet is sort of like royal looking and definitely fits the vibe of this area. That's perfect. So, now we're looking pretty good, but this area does need another thing. What thing? 
Well, of course, decoration. Oh, by the way, somebody came by my uh, my building uh, uh, off camera. Here. Mm -hmm. All right, so maybe a lantern right there, just kind of for decoration. The lighting's already good, and then boom. This is what we have right here. I'm really happy with the vibe. I feel like it's like super simple and kind of like welcoming. So now, the outside, the outside, the outside. I don't know how much of the outside we're actually going to do today, but we need to work on at least a tiny bit, like a little. So what I'm thinking here is why is there an Enderman in there? Mm -hmm. They're all like all over the place. Anyways, what I'm thinking, a path coming in here. The path is going to be just like all of the other paths in this jungle. We'll have just a normal path cutting through here. Over here, fences. On the other side, which is something that we're definitely not going to do quite yet because I don't know what I'm going to do over here, we will have the same thing. We'll have a path cutting through here going to really wherever, wherever it needs to go. Whatever we build over here, the path will link up to it. Whenever we need to get over there, we can just cut right through the storage building. I feel like that's a pretty good thing. And then if we ever need to go out this way, we have the back exit right over here. Along the side of the path, wherever it ends up going, I thought it would be pretty nice to have coarse dirt in here, and then definitely, absolutely down here, the water area. Now, right now, this is just a simple water area. We could definitely level it up later on. In fact, maybe we, uh, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, we, we could definitely level this thing up even more later on, but for now, I feel like it, it, it's nice. It's a simple vibe. It works. Anyways, though, alongside that path, definitely flowers, for sure. This time, I'm thinking lilacs. Lilacs would probably be pretty nice and then bushes as well do i have any spruce leaves left i do just a tiny bit but that should probably be good for today uh-huh uh-huh a couple lilacs in here bushes as well and by the way i'm gonna come back in here too with like lanterns and stuff kind of like what i did right there to make sure the light level is perfect in here but this is definitely the perfect lead up the vibe that i wanted walking up to this building that's pretty cool oh and we can okay cool 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 i wasn't sure if i was gonna be able to do that but there we go we'll do that too this is gonna have to stay like that it is what it is then boom we walk in we walk out it looks good like immediately i love it i I'm obsessed with this. I am so happy with how that turned out. And then down here we have this path. I'm thinking that the paths will, this one will probably go like down this way or something. And then we'll probably end up having like a staircase over here to get this path down to link up with the other one because there is such a huge difference. We will definitely eventually have builds in here too or a garden or like a fountain or a statue. I'm not too sure quite yet, but there we go. Today to finish everything off, this is the vibe that I'm gonna leave you with right here. So, time for the comment of the day. Today's a simple one. Why aren't you using your elytra? So the answer to that one is actually probably simpler than you would think. The answer really comes down to the enchantments, honestly. On this elytra, we still only have mending. My ideal elytra also has on breaking three, which we just haven't taken the time to get on the elytra quite yet. Eventually, the plan is to definitely get that on the elytra, but when? I am not too sure. Also, I kind of always just forget about the option of the elytra being used for like shots and stuff like i could do like an intro up here that would be really cool or, or i could use it to like look at the build from different angles that's a good idea too but i don't know it really comes down to the enchantments and honestly i forget about it but that is going to be it for this episode of the minecraft guide redstone doors they're amazing they are a great way to level up the entrance to any build big or small Today, huge shout out to my patron, Divins and Shadowzen. Thank you both so much for the support. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't yet, remember to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, welcome. How you doing? My name's Waddles. Subscribe. Until next time, stay fresh. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.